been to the garden center. I'm about to go out and I'm gonna finally get them gutters and see if we can do something with the gutters. I was in the garden center and I was, because of this time of year, I just picked up bedding plants, um, Viola's winter ones. Um, did I get winter pansies? But they actually had some sedums and I was like, oh, I might do a row of sedums. So I'm gonna get them out of my car and I'm going to get the um, gutters from the side. Also, there was like a bit of a, I would we say a storm? But there's a lot of kind of like, I would say it was a storm. I woke me up in the middle of the night and I was like, whoa, um, it's been raining a lot. It's driving my life this summer. That's all I keep saying in the garden videos. Yeah, the, the sunflowers are pure bash now. So I might have to take down the last of the big headed sunflowers. And I've noticed a couple of things like the sweet peas are dying off and yeah, there's definitely a couple of things starting to kind of die off, but there's still a bit of life, yeah, still a bit of life. I popped into the garden centre and I got the proper realisation that the seasons, they are changing. I know the garden centres are always a couple of weeks ahead, but there was mostly all of that winter cyclamen, your winter pansies, your violas, a lot of the perennials were kind of just, you know, obviously not in flower starting to kind of die back but um I did find some sedums I didn't set out for sedums but when I saw the sedums <laughs> sounds like a poem I decided to pick up a few I just want to show you how much water, rainwater, has um, have we've gotten since like the weekend. Like these are pure soaked, and this water absolutely stinks. I had these plants just chilling in this bucket. I want to put that heucher in a pot out by the door. And there's like a shasta daisy in a few bits that I've been meaning to plant, but. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> drenched. So yeah, that's how much rain there has been the past few days. So yeah. Now I know what some might be thinking, girl, you are gonna be putting compost into those gutters. So what's the point in cleaning them? But I wanted to clean them. It's good practice, especially like old pots and seed trays. It kind of cuts down on any disease with the plants and these quarters, well, I know where they came from. They came from my neighbor's uh, roof, but yeah, I just wanted to give them a good scrub. Have a look on secondhand buy and sell sites, Facebook marketplace, adverts, all those kind of places to see if you too can pick some up for free. They're easy to cut and easy to drill into, which you'll see me do next. I have seen people use these to start seedlings as seed trays and then they push the soil into like a trench. Um, I don't know if I'm explaining that correctly. Um, but one of the downsides to them is that they do have a shallow um, soil amount <laughs> i can't talk today they're shallow and they're not really deep so things like annuals are great obviously starting seeds and sedums and succulents are great in them as well i just had to trim some of the ends so that they would all be even in length so i'm using a jigsaw because my hand saw was like no 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 wasn't cutting through and um, but to be honest it was probably my strength so I have a special blade for my jigsaw that is for cutting through plastics. But I'm sure you could probably try a normal blade um, to see how you get on. Don't worry about the end being too jaggedy because there is end pieces. Those little caps that you stick on to the end and that will hide that. So if you find these in a skip, 
try and look for the brackets and the end pieces. So they come with these plasticky brackets, um, similar material to what the gutter is made from. And generally, if there's gutters in a skip, you're probably going to find the brackets as well, unless they reuse the brackets. Um, but my neighbor didn't because they got a completely different guttering system. So just a little tip, have a look for the brackets so that you don't have to use any other ones on the wall and yeah you'll get them for free as well and do keep an eye for the end caps i realized that i'm missing some end pieces so i'll have to get them from a diy shop or i'll have to go skip diving again and um, so keep an eye out for those two pieces if you do stumble across these i'm drilling these into a masonry wall because i was worried about the weight of them but actually when they're filled with soil they're not actually that heavy. I think because the material of the gutter is like UPVC, it's plastic, it's not really heavy. So when I added the soil in and I just have, you know, some annuals and sedums in them, it's not actually heavy. So I was thinking you could probably modify this and use it as a window box. It could be cute as a window box, a little upcycle window box. So the weight isn't too bad, but I would still test it before sticking it onto a wooden fence just to make sure that the fence can handle the weight that it's going on to. And then lastly, my last tip with any upcycle container, drain your towels, drain your towels, drain your towels. So obviously these gutters are made to not leak water, but our plants do not want to be sitting in soggy soil because they're going to rot. They're not going to be happy. And especially coming into winter now, well, coming into autumn, but over winter, um, the annuals that are going to be sitting in here, they're not going to want to be sitting in stormy, soggy soil. So lots of drainage holes, and I'm going to mix up a gritty compost mixture as well. So depending on what you're going to be planting into your planters, um, you might need a more of a gritty mix. So because I'm putting sedums in, um, they don't like to be sitting in water, they love full sun, hence the position that I have chosen for today. And the same with the annuals. Um, this is a sunny spot and I think in next year, if I do put some annuals in it, they would give me almost like a hanging basket effect and they will trail over. So I'm using a potting mix for them because if I was to use, you know, like topsoil or soil from the garden, it might, it might just be too heavy um, for the planters. So I'm using um, a potting compost and I'm just mixing in some grit just to further help with the drainage. We are coming into winter, so I am anticipating more rain, but you never know. Um, one of the downsides to the gutters is during summer, they could dry out quicker. So just like, you know, a hanging basket or a smaller pot, it's going to dry out quicker because it's a shallower depth. So there's not as much soil in it, um, but you could possibly mix something into it to help retain the water. So it's going to depend on what your growing conditions are. Maybe you are in a sunnier place. I, I am envious. Um, you could maybe go with succulents um, in these so that you don't have to water them as much. I'm going to put some sedums up here. Also, the ones I picked are frost, frost hardy ones. But problem I have is, so, hang on. Sorry for shaky footage. My things are quite shallow. So I was like, will I leave them in the pot? Like I built this one up with soil, but I'm not sure if it gets like heavy rain. I could dress it with grit to help stop the soil from falling out. 
so yeah well there is a bit of soil there I might stick them in but it's not ideal um, if I had a younger sedum plant that didn't have like as big of a root system I'm gonna tip this out like the roots might spread out listen we will give it a bash anyway <laughs> if I have to sacrifice some sedums yeah like the roots are here I'll give it a bash and see <laughs> Oh my god. Stay in my head. You're probably wondering, girl, where's the end? Where's the stoppers you put on the end? I could only find two. And when I went to the garden centre, also sorry for the noise. Everybody be doing DIY today in the hood. Um I went to the garden centre, also DIY shop, with the intention of getting four more ends. Completely full. Went in, just got plants, that was it, came back, fish fresh bush. So I do have to stick ends on, so I have, um, I'll, I'll stick ends on the sedum first, and then, I'm not too worried about the pansies, um, but I will stick ends on them because the wind we had last night would probably whoosh <laughs> the soil off. Um, now once soil is wet, and speaking of wet, there is a bit of a drizzle. And um, once the soil is wet, it's heavy enough, and I have to make sure that's why I put this in a concrete wall and not one of the wooden fences because I needed to make sure it was going to be strong. And it's also in a place where if it falls down, well, it can damage the plants underneath, but a lot of them are annuals. No shade to the annual plants, but we know these just last for a season. Whereas if you use perennials, I mind you, um, I'm going to wash my hands, I'm going to give it a little sprinkle with clothes even though it is raining but i don't think it's going to be enough i'm just going to water them in we're going to pray the sedums sedum seed around stay a little while um ideally i should have put younger sedums in that or divided them up even um but yeah you're not going to get an awful lot of like growth this time of year anyway because um the light is going to be dying down. Those are winter violas. I didn't get pansy. I thought I got pansy. Winter violas, so they'll add a bit of colour if you keep deadheading them over winter. But they're obviously not going to grow as big as the ones in summertime. But I'm hoping if they trail over, wouldn't that be like a lovely hanging basket? Not hanging basket, but you know the same idea with trailing plants. Here's the rain. Let's wash my hands.
I just wanted to share as well what the ends look like, so dirty ones. So, oh, can you hear that bird in the background? So this is the end. There's like a little clip on it. There's a bit of cut, gutter and that one is clipped on. Sorry about the view. So that bird is so pretty. I hope you can hear it in the background. So they literally just, once I give it a good clean, they'll, sorry, this one's probably not a good example because it's slightly off the clip. I just realized the clip is broken on it, but you get the gist. You can just slot it onto the end. Did you hear that bird again? I wonder, is it a robin? I think it is. Um, so yeah, you just pop it on the end. I'll give it a good clean beforehand, but that's the general gist of what the ends will look like. But yeah, I think it'll be fine for the minute. I feel like I need to get a soundtrack of just that bird. <laughs> I forgot to record an outro but I just want to say I hope you enjoyed and got a little idea to upcycle something random from a skip today. If you're new to the channel welcome to the community. Please consider subscribing and supporting the channel by giving it a good cheeky thumbs up. Also I don't mention it enough but there is a members playlist so you can support the channel by becoming a member but there's over a hundred I think we're at like 115 videos now that are all ad free just for members so the last I think year and a half worth of videos are there where if you want to catch up and watch recent videos ad free and have a binge then you can do so by becoming a member and then checking out the member playlist members also get to watch the videos a couple of days before everyone else there's a link to become a member in the description box but if you just head to my channel there should be a button that says maybe sign up or become a member I'm not sure what the button says but yeah if you want to throw in some extra support it is greatly appreciated and no worries if you can by you watching liking and engaging with the video gives the channel loads of support so don't worry